It's an image of hope and renewal, an iris bursting from the weeds of a neglected garden, straining upwards towards the sun. So you may find it hard to imagine that a man who painted this fresh and vibrant work was confined in a psychiatric hospital in the south of France at the time. And for a while, this little patch of garden inside the walls was all he was able to paint. The painting is Iris, and the artist is Vincent van Gogh, one of the most important painters of the 19th century. For most of his life, van Gogh struggled with depression and mental illness, and it was his own choice to be hospitalized. It was a search for refuge, peace, and healing. Yet, when he painted this work, one of the very first he painted at the hospital, when he still was not allowed outside the walls, you would never guess at this darkness. It's a painting full of life, light, color, and hope. So how could Van Gogh create such a joyful work under such circumstances? Part of the answer is in the subject. Van Gogh was a painter who had a particular connection with nature. And for him, flowers were the perfect metaphor for the emotions and experiences of human life. So for Van Gogh, even a neglected clump of irises surrounded by the weeds of an unkempt garden with the flowers on two of the three stems not yet open, even this humble scene pulses with potential and calls out to the painter in him. And Van Gogh's bold, distinctive style, that's the other part of the answer. Van Gogh was Dutch. His early painting was traditional, some say even dark and brooding, but all that changed when he went to Paris at the end of the late 1880s. Now at the time, Paris was a city that was a hotbed of new ideas and approaches. It was filled with daring young artists redefining Western art. Van Gogh drank it all in, but he was mostly taken with a group of artists called the Impressionists who dared to use bright and bold colors when they painted their landscapes and still lives. This opened Van Gogh's eye to new possibilities. He started using a brighter, bolder palette himself and a freer style. Van Gogh was also influenced by the bright colors and flat perspectives of Japanese woodprints, which were popular in France at the time. He collected them extensively. And out of all these influences and his own personality, he started shaping a unique, powerful, an easily recognizable style. Iris is a good example of Van Gogh's evolving style. His colors are light and luminous, and based on a harmony of yellows, greens, blues, and mauves. The paint is thick and creamy, the brushstrokes bold, almost exuberant. For the weeds, which he probably painted very quickly, Van Gogh used small, rhythmic brushstrokes radiating outward from the plant and he used dabs of bright yellow for the little dots of marigold scattered here and there in the coarse grass. Notice how he brings the plant out from the dense background using longer brush strokes for the snaking leaves and how he outlines them the same way he does for the stems and buds using accents of black just here and there. As for the unopened flower buds, they're colored with lavender and pale mauve but are almost transparent when you look closely. With its intense blues, only the flower actually in bloom stands out. Finally, notice how Van Gogh added a few white brush strokes in the sparse grass at the bottom of the painting, as if he was trying to show how the vital energy of the plant resides in the bulb hidden beneath the surface. Despite the hardships of his mental illness, despite the despair of his hospital stay, Van Gogh didn't stop painting. He couldn't. It was his lifeline, his link to sanity. If anything, he became even more productive. In the last two years of his life, he turned out one masterpiece after another. The famous self-portrait painted in the room in the hospital with the green wallpaper, wheat field with crows, the starry night, some of the greatest paintings ever done in the 19th century. Mm -hmm.